15 most frightening ghost chips in the world. Tales of ghost chips exist in almost all civilizations, but is it true they exist? We travel the world to bring you the tales of 15 most frightening ghost chips. But before I proceed, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us establish our community on YouTube. Remember to hit the bell icon for notifications of new videos. 15. The MV Tai Ching 21 MV Tai Ching 21 was a shipping vessel that disappeared on October 2008. The last radio transmission was made on October 28, 2008. On November 9, 2008, the boat was found empty near Kiribati. Its lifeboat and three life rafts were missing. The abandoned 50-ton Taiwanese vessel had been gutted by fire several days before. No mayday call was received. A search of 21,000 square miles, 54,000 kilometers, of the Pacific Ocean north of Fiji by a U.S. Air Force C-130 Hercules and a New Zealand Air Force P-3 Orion found no trace of the Taiwanese captain or crew. 18 Chinese, 6 Indonesians, and 4 Filipinos. 14. The MV Liubov Orlova In January 2013, the Liubov Orlova, a former Soviet cruise ship, was being towed to a scrapyard in the Caribbean when a cable snapped, setting her adrift in international waters, one day after leaving St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. On February 4, 2013, the vessel was found approximately 250 nautical miles east of St. John's, approximately 50 nautical miles outside of Canada's territorial waters, and drifting in a northeasterly direction. Some believe the crew did not pursue the vessel due to safety concerns. Some news reports claimed it was a drift and populated with cannibal rats. 13. The SV Resolvin this merchant brig was found abandoned between Bakalu Island and Catalina, Newfoundland and Labrador. The sailing vessel was abandoned and boats were missing. Its logbook was posted to within six hours of being sighted. Other than a broken yard, it had suffered minimal damage. The galley fire was alight and lamps were burning. A large iceberg was sighted nearby. It has been claimed that none of the seven crew members or four passengers were accustomed to northern waters, and it was suggested that they panicked when the ship was damaged by ice, launched the lifeboat, and swamped, though no bodies were found. Three years later, Resolvin was wrecked while returning to Newfoundland from Nova Scotia with a load of lumber. 12. The SV Lunatic in December 2007, at age 70, Jerry Sturk, a Slovenian long-distance sailor and author, started a journey to sail around the world on his boat, Lunatic. He used his amateur radio to communicate, and was last heard from on January 1, 2009. His sailboat, Lunatic, was spotted on January 26, approximately 1,000 nmi, 1,900 kilometers, off the coast of Australia. The boat looked damaged, and there was no sign of Jerry Sturk on deck. Three months later, on April 30th, 2009, the sailboat was found adrift by the crew of the science vessel RV Roger Ravel, 500 miles southeast. The sails were torn, and there was no one on board. After boarding, they found that the last log entry had been made on January 2nd, 2009. Until today, Sturk has never been found. 11. The Ghost Yacht The SV Kaz-2, commonly known as the Ghost Yacht, was a 9.8 meter catamaran which was found drifting off the northeastern coast of Australia on April 20, 2007. The multi-hulled watercraft was filmed passing George Point, Hinchinbrook Island, Queensland, later that day, and on the same day, late in the afternoon, the GPS data showed her to be adrift. The yacht was found adrift on April 18, 2007, near the Great Barrier Reef, 88 nautical miles off Townsville, Queensland, Australia. When boarded on April 20, the engine was running, a laptop was running, the radio and GPS were working, 
and a meal was set to eat, but the three-man crew was not on board. All the sails were up, but one was badly shredded, while three life jackets and survival equipment, including an emergency beacon, were found on board. A search for the crew was abandoned on April 22nd, as it was considered unlikely that anyone could have survived for that period of time. The coroner believed that the men may have fallen overboard. 10. The Mummy Ghost Ship January 31, 2016, some Filipino fishermen discover a mummified body of a German soldier on a seemingly abandoned yacht about 62 miles off the coast of the Philippines. IDs on the boat reveal the name of the soldier as Manfred Fritz Bajerat of Germany. He was found dead in his private yacht, which was adrift in the Philippine Sea. His mummified body was found slumped on a desk by crew from the racing yacht El Max Exchange. The yacht was rediscovered on February 25, 2016. Autopsy reveals he died of a heart attack about one week before he was found. 9. The Jian Sang The Jian Sang was an 80-meter tanker and ghost ship of unknown origin that was spotted drifting 180 kilometers southwest of Waipa, Queensland, in the Gulf of Carpentaria, by an Australian Coast Watch airplane in 2006. The ship was found inoperable and with no crew on board and a broken tow rope, with identifying marks removed but no signs of legal activity or violence. The Coast Guard was never able to determine the ship's origin and scuttled it in deep waters. A large quantity of rice was found on board, leading the boarding party to believe the vessel had probably been used as a resupply ship for fishing boats, with food and fuel in waters outside the Australian exclusive economic zone, and which had broken tow and drifted to its current location. 8. Carol A. Deering Carol A. Deering was a five-masted commercial schooner that was found run aground off Cape Hatteras, North Carolina in 1921, with the crew nowhere to be found. On July 19, 1920, the Deering sailing from Puerto Rico arrived at Newport News to pick up a cargo of coal for delivery to Rio de Janeiro. On August 26, 1920, the Deering cleared the Virginia Capes, bound for Rio, but the captain, Merritt, soon fell seriously ill. The Deering Company recruited Captain Willis B. Wormel, a retired 66-year-old veteran sea captain, to replace him on the voyage to Brazil. Charles B. McClellan was hired on as first mate. The Deering with Wormel in command arrived and delivered cargo in Rio on September 8, 1920, and then left Rio on December 2, 1920. The ship was next sighted by the Cape Lookout Lightship off North Carolina on January 28, 1921. On January 31, 1921, the wreck of the ship was hard aground with sails set on the outer edge of Diamond Shoals. A portion of the ship's bow later drifted ashore on Ocracoke Island. Wooden timbers from the wreck also washed ashore on Hatteras Island. Until today, no one really knows what happened to the crew. 7. S.S. Baichimo S.S. Baichimo was a steel-hulled 1,322-ton cargo steamer built in 1914 in Sweden and owned by the Hudson's Bay Company, used to trade provisions for pelts in Inuit settlements along the Victoria Island coast of the Northwest Territories of Canada. On October 1, 1931, at the end of a trading run, and loaded with a cargo of fur, Baichimo became trapped in pack ice. The crew briefly abandoned the ship to take shelter for two days, but the ship had broken free of the ice by the time they returned. Surprisingly, SS Baichimo did not sink, and over the next few decades, she was sighted numerous times. People managed to board her several times, but each time they were either unable to salvage her or were driven away by bad weather. SS Baichimo became a notable ghost ship along the Alaska coast. The last recorded sighting was by a group of Inuits in 1969, 38 years after she was abandoned. 6. Eliza Battle Eliza Battle was a luxury American Tom Bigby River steamboat during the 1850s. 
She was destroyed in a fire on the river near modern Pennington, Alabama, on March 1, 1858. About 33 people were killed, out of roughly 60 passengers and a crew of 45. Eliza Battle enters southwestern Alabama folklore as a ghost ship. It is rumored that during the spring floods, late at night during the full moon, the boat can be seen rising out of the water and floating up the river with music playing and fires burning on the deck. The fire is so bright that the name Eliza Battle can be seen on a plate on the side of the vessel. Local fishermen believe that sighting the boat is a sign of an impending disaster. 5. Flying Dutchman the Flying Dutchman is a legendary ghost ship that can never make port and is doomed to sail the oceans forever, according to the 17th century nautical folklore. The oldest extant version dates to the late 18th century. Sightings in the 19th and 20th centuries reported the ship to be glowing with a ghostly light. If hailed by another ship, the crew of the Flying Dutchman will try to send messages to land or to people long dead. One reported sighting was by Prince George of Wales, along with 13 persons on board. Here is his report. July 11th at 4 a.m., the Flying Dutchman crossed our bows, a strange red light as of a phantom ship all aglow, in the midst of which light the masts, spars and sails of a brig 200 yards distant, stood out in strong relief as she came up on the port bow. But on arriving, there was no vestige nor any sign whatever of any material ship. 4. Mary Celeste Mary Celeste was an American merchant brigantine that was discovered on December 4, 1872, off the Azores Islands, sailing with no one on board and with her lifeboat missing. When found, the vessel was in a disheveled but seaworthy condition. The last log entry was 10 days earlier. In the decades that followed, fact and fiction became intertwined. In June 1883, the Los Angeles Times retold the Mary Celeste story. Every sail was set. The tiller was lashed fast. Not a rope was out of place. The fire was burning in the galley. The dinner was standing untasted and scarcely cold. The log was written up to the hour of her discovery. Other explanations have suggested paranormal intervention. An undated edition of the British Journal of Astrology describes the Mary Celeste story as a mystical experience, connecting it by process of reasoning beyond the power of ordinary human understanding, with the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Lost Continent of Atlantis, and the British Israel Movement. The Bermuda Triangle has been invoked, even though Mary Celeste was abandoned in a completely different part of the Atlantic. Similar fantasies have considered theories of abduction by aliens in flying saucer. 3. SS Orang Midan The SS Orang Midan was a ghost ship which, according to various sources, became a shipwreck in Indonesian waters after its entire crew had died under suspicious circumstances. It is believed that the ship has become something of a legend. The story has appeared in various magazines and books on Fortina, beginning with a 1953 article in Fate magazine. Circumstantial evidence cited by these sources includes the apparent absence of a natural cause of death, the reportedly terrified expressions on the faces of the deceased, and rumors that some of the dead were pointing towards an unknown enemy. But many searchers, such as Jessup, speculate that the crew might have been attacked by UFOs or paranormal forces prior to their deaths. 2. Young Teaser Young Teaser was a U.S. privateer schooner that a member of her crew blew up at Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia during the War of 1812 after a series of British warships chased her and after HMS Hogue trapped her. Young Teaser became famous for the deadly explosion that killed most of her crew and for the folklore about the ghostly teaser light. People claim a fiery glow or a flaming ship regularly appears on Mahone Bay near the site of the explosion, often near the June 27th anniversary. Accounts were first recorded in the late 19th century and continue until today. Folklorist Helen Creighton documented numerous versions of the story in her classic folklore book, Blue Nose Ghosts. 
although she noted many sightings may be optical illusions during full moon. 1. Lady Lovey Bond the Lady Lovey Bond is the name given to a legendary schooner that is alleged to have been wrecked on the Goodwin Sands off the Kent coast of Southeast England on February 13, 1748, and it is said to reappear there every 50 years as a ghost ship. Despite the long-standing sailor's superstition that it was just bad luck to bring a woman on board, on February 13th, her captain, Simon Reed, had just been married and brought his wife on the schooner to celebrate the occasion with a cruise, which he was not supposed to do so. This causes the disaster. The first supposed sighting of the Phantom Lady, Lovey Bond, was on February 13, 1798, by at least two ships, the Eden Bridge, captained by James Westlake, and a fishing smack. Its alleged 1848 appearance convinced local seamen that a wreck had occurred. They sent out lifeboats from Deal, Kent, England, to rescue the survivors. Captain Bull Prestwick allegedly sighted her in 1948 and reported that she looked real but gave off an eerie green glow. There was no reported 1998 sighting. Thank you for watching till the end. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe to the channel to help us establish our presence on YouTube.